primary series, part six, all right. Okay, guys, double stroke roll. First thing, let's get to work. Sticks in the hand, and let's just drop the stick. Let's drop that stick. Now, when I first started doing a double stroke roll when I was a kid, before I started studying, it was that I have you drop the stick just to feel that, that bounce. But it's not a control bounce, right? But when I was a kid, before I could roll, I would just... It's not bad, but it's not good, you know. But that... Just that feeling of no... Trying to get it even as possible and bouncing. Which, when you get to a... a, a when you get to a, a... Get into speed, you're not using as much wrist. So... The first thing in a double stroke roll, we have to, of course, incorporate our, our, our wrists. So, double stroke roll is, is right, right, left, left, just doubles. We call them doubles. And it's this kind of, right? This kind of movement. This kind of sticking. Now, we all want to do this, right? So what I like to do, the first thing in a double stroke roll is fives. Right, right, left, left, right, left, 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 right, right, left. So, very important. And you can elongate that, make it longer. But that, that initial five, the reason why I like that is because, watch what happens. When you can get to that speed, that's not bad. That's a nice double right there. So by doing fives, doing uh, adding another two, adding another do double to a seven or eight, right? Practicing that initial five stroke roll and working on speed, which of course you're coming down you're coming closer to the drum, and you incorporate bouncing. The, bounce, the bouncing is, is going to come right behind it, naturally, if you get to this. Because you can't go, right? You can't play with it just forearms and, and, and wrists. It doesn't work. It all it comes into, a, into play when you get faster. Now, that's a control bounce. See, very little wrist there. A very, a very a, a soft roll. It's control bouncing. So by doing that initial five stroke roll and working on speed, very slowly, go slow, go slow. But when you, you, you can, and you can do it in a good way, a good, in good form, then you increase the tempo. And then if we want to play louder, we incorporate a little forearms, you know. But that initial double stroke roll, see that's that's wrist right there. That's right there. See how the way I turn my wrist? A little faster. It's still wrist. I'm still not really bouncing. A little bit of bouncing. I'm still using wrist, but the fingers start coming in. The fingers start bouncing off the stick at that. And then when I get very low, when I want to play softer, it, it gets into a lot of bouncing but control. So fool around with the first thing that I, I said. Just con do that. First thing, first thing. Just try to keep your fingers still around the stick. And then just go like this. Try to, try to do that at a little bit when you practice every day. Try to get into that control bouncing, but having good form, you know? Having good form and not, not doing any, you still have the unity with your, with your fingers and your wrist. Things don't look sloppy, you know? You're not going like this. 
and uh, and the most important most important thing right now with the double stroke roll, of course, is is uh, uh, no accents, right? So usually when you get guys who can't, I, I said this on the last, you get into this kind of thing. No, you want to those fives. You really want to strive for unity and no and no accents at first. And as you get lower, like I've always talked about, it's physics. You have to go lower, but you still get... That sounds very loud on the drum, by the way. It's, it's loud. It's, 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 there's a lot of power there. So don't, don't think that you hear the pad that it's not. It's, it's, I'm, I'm playing pretty loud. you know. Uh, but that soft part, when you go to like a buzz, you know, maybe a buzz roll, they call it now, but you're a closed roll... There's a lot of bouncing there, so you have to get used to that. Okay, so it's, that's that's enough. That's enough for the double stroke right now. And there's so much you can do. There's so many beats, and and, and, and it's endless what you can do around the drums. And, and uh, it's absolutely endless. It's, but to, to get there, you have to get... You really have to incorporate a little bit of forearm, wrist and a combination of fingers, that's going to happen naturally, and then that bouncing, which is going to make a nice for an even double stroke roll. So uh, that's it for this week, and uh, next week we'll go on with the primary series.